all right friends welcome back to another quick short video and in this video i'll be showing you some of the things regarding view 3 events so let me go to user list item over here and inside of this edit user method we are emitting the event called edit user and for the event name we are using camel case later but if we go to the parent component over here we are listening to that event in kebab case later so this box in view because events names provide an automatic case transformation so here we can also do edit user so if i refresh it edit and this is also working perfectly fine but the recommended approach is to use kebab case over here uh, to align with other html attributes now let me go to user list item over here and inside this method we are just emitting the event called edit user and we are passing that user right and instead of doing this we can directly emit the event uh, from our template so let me go over here and instead of calling that method we can emit the event using dollar emit and the event name is edit user and we are passing that user now if i refresh click on edit and this is working perfectly fine right and uh, on the top we are uh, defining the emitted events uh, if I remove this edit user from here, let me refresh it. Uh, if I click on edit, then this is still working. But if we open up the console and we are getting this warning, so we need to define the emitted events, right? Now, if I refresh it, uh, we do not see that warning. Click on edit, and this is working perfectly fine. So, this much for this short video, and I will see you in the next one.